Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today I will be reviewing the two new Zara fragrances they just released. If you already follow my channel, you know how much I love Zara fragrances and how much I love reviewing them. So if you're into Zara fragrances as well, or you just wanna to get to know a little bit more about them, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I have several other videos already up on my channel where I talk about Zara fragrances, but when I saw that these two got released, of course, I had to order them and give them a test wear and tell you how I feel about them. So the fragrances we're gonna talk about today are called Black Dart and Memorable Aura, and both are actually part of the Chapter 3 series. So if you're already familiar with Zara fragrances, you know that they have um, several chapters of fragrances besides their normal signature fragrances. They do these chapter ones. They always are in those uh, long uh, cylinder bottles. Let me just show you. So they have these tiny ones of 30 mil and they also have bigger ones um, of 80 mil. In 2021, they came out with chapter three, and that chapter included Golden Decade, which is a dupe for Libre or Libre Intense, Majestic Opulence, which was dupe-ish for La Vie Belle Intensement. They had Sublime Epoque, which was a dupe for Armani My Way, and they had Memoir Intense, which was a dupe for um, Idol by Lanco. So for some reason, they already released more chapters after chapter three, but for some reason now they wanted to add two more to chapter three. So that is Black Dart and Memorable Aura. Let's just start with Black Dart, which I have right here. This is the bottle. Again, in the typical bottle. Now, I think they also have these ones in um, 80 mil. Um, which retails in Europe or in Belgium at least for about 23 euros. In Spain, it's a little bit cheaper because Zara is a Spanish brand. And I'm thinking in the United States, I haven't checked, but I'm sure it's around maybe like $30, something like that for the big bottle. This one is 30 mil and where I bought it for 13 euros, which is about 15 US dollars. But... In the States, it's probably a little bit more expensive. Now, into the review. So, these fragrances are not on Fragrantica just yet, not at the moment that I'm filming this video, but the only description I have is that it's a floral chipre, and um, the box says it's a seductive and ultra-feminine, an opulent floral aura heightened with sophisticated chipre signature. So I did have to look up what Sheeper means, and basically it's a name for a group of fragrances with similar notes. They usually have like a mossy base note, then some florals in the middle, and usually some citruses in the top notes, which is uh, most of the time it's bergamot. So I've learned something new there. Now, I gave this one a spritz, and my first impression was... This smells like perfume, which doesn't really tell you anything. But that was my first impression. It just smells perfumey. If someone were to wear this, like at the office, or someone would walk by wearing this, the only thought that would go through my head would be, oh, this person is wearing perfume and nothing more. That's just how I perceive it. It's pretty, you know, to me, it's super unoriginal, uh, sort of basic. So it reminded me of La Vie est Belle, which is a super popular fragrance, but honestly, I've never really gotten the hype. I've never loved La Vie est Belle. I think it just smells very perfumey as well. Um, I've never owned it. I've tried it several times, but it's just not my thing. And this one really reminds me of it. So um, I do have samples and I tried to compare them. So I have La Vie est Belle, just the OG I have right here. And I also have a sample of La Vie est Belle, the new Iris Absolute. And I tried them, one on my wrist and one on my inner arm. And then I sprayed this one on my other wrist to compare, to see if it's a dupe for them or one of them, and it's 
I do think it's a similar scent, but it's not really a dupe. So it is a little bit different. I did pick up a little bit more, um, I don't know, is it vanilla or is it some, some juiciness or some fruitiness? But I do think if you like La Vie Belle, I do think you're gonna like Black Dart. So if that is your type of, or maybe Miss Dior, not the Blooming Bouquet, but the original Miss Dior, also personally not my thing. But if you like La Vie Belle and Miss Dior types of fragrances, I do think you're gonna like Black Dart. But for me personally, mm, I wouldn't call it a fail because it's not a bad perfume. I'm just not impressed by it at all. That's just my opinion. Um, it's not my thing, yeah. I am super curious if this is a dupe for something, maybe a perfume that I don't know or I'm not thinking of. Like I said, it does smell very similar to La Vie Belle, but it's not a one-on-one -on -one dupe. So, you know, maybe it's not a dupe, maybe it's just something inspired by, but yeah, if you know if this is a dupe for something, please let me know in the comments. But in conclusion, for me, this is not really a very spectacular fragrance. And then the other one that came out is called Memorable Aura. This one is described by Zara as a bright bouquet tinted with the colorful juiciness of mango for a pure explosion of joy. So I opened it, I gave it a spritz and a sniff, and it was a strong like at first sniff. I was like, ooh, this smells really nice. And I smelled it again. And I thought, yeah, okay, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. This is really, really nice. And also it instantly reminded me of something I had already smelled before. And then I gave it another sniff and then it just popped into my mind like, oh, this is clearly a dupe for Paco Rabanne's fame. So I went upstairs to my little sample box and I do have a sample for fame. So I tried them side by side and guys, it's a one-on-one -on -one dupe. I don't smell a difference. I'm just gonna do it one more time. So I sprayed fame on my left wrist and memorable aura on my right. There is no difference. This is a really good dupe. I'm not smelling any difference between the original and the memorable aura. They are like 99% the same. Honestly, even comparing them side by side, there is no difference. They are exactly the same. I also gave it a full wear already. And I have to say that it's pretty strong. Um, the longevity was like, mm, I would say average, but I did um, have this super nice scent bubble around me. And you know, it's not, it's not a weak fragrance by any means. It's not a beast, but it's definitely, it just has average uh, performance, projection and longevity. So not bad. So if you don't know what uh, Paco Rabanne's fame smells like, it's basically just a um, mango fragrance with also some jasmine and vanilla. It does smell like a typical um, designer fragrance, but then with some mango added. So it's not super original. The DNA is pretty recognizable, but that mango is something that you don't really see that much. So it does differ a little bit from the other designer fragrances. Think of a nice uh, mango, like, um, I wanna say like a mango cocktail, but then with some cream, like not coconut cream, but what do I mean? Like maybe some yogurt with mango, and then some like some vanilla, it's really nice. So it's mostly vanilla mango with a little bit of white florals in between. Really nice, very pleasant. I do think this is crowd pleasing. I do think this is a win, um, Zara, you did good. But because this is such a clear dupe for Paco Rabanne's fame, I'm really wondering if this, the black dart, is a dupe for something, I do think it is. I just don't know what it's duping. So all in all, this is a great scent. I would rate Memorable Aura 
Mm, I would definitely rate it maybe even like an 8 out of 10. And Black Dart, I would rate, honestly, it's just not my thing. I would rate it a 5 out of 10. It's not a bad scent. It's just completely unimpressive for me. Uh, but yeah, that's just my quick rundown of the two new fragrances by Zara. I also ordered some perfume oils by Zara, which I will be reviewing as well. So if you want to see that video, again, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, don't worry. I'm, I know I'm, I'm pushing to subscribe, but you know, it will really help the channel. Feel free to give this one a like and leave me a comment. Um, I would love to hear what you think of these two new fragrances. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next one. Bye.